will they think of next? Maybe a phrase uttered in response to the latest bizarre lab creation or engineering feat, but you may find yourself astounded by the novelty, sheer ingenuity, or even horror of the adaptations that simply take natural sciences to the next level. These are a few of the most shocking adaptations in our living world. Number 10. Tear Drinker Moth Vampires are well known in fiction as notorious consumers of blood, but there are several real-world animals that do act as vampires drinking blood from living victims. While a film about vampires could easily fall into the genre of horror, a film depicting the behavior of a certain moth would decidedly be classified as a tearjerker, but not in the way you might be expecting. This is a creature that alights to a bird's eye and drinks its tear fluid. And that creature, the Arabid moth, is a sizable, fluffy, nocturnal moth that has been observed landing on sleeping ant birds. The moth then extends its proboscis into the unwary bird's eye and drinks its tear fluid. When the ant bird is not hunting insects throughout the day, these creepy moths drink their tears at night. Research findings published in the Journal of Ecology are accompanied by the hypothesis that the mineral nutrients such as sodium plus proteins are obtained from the tears. To access this strange soup while not becoming a meal or a victim of retaliation by the bird being siphoned, and the moth uses its long proboscis to gather tears while staying clear of the bill. Number 9. Zombie Worms Dissolve Bones Bone worms certainly sound scary. You won't be attacked by them, but something has to clean up the bones of animals unfortunate enough to end up dead at the bottom of the sea. Also known as a zombie worm, bone worms are one of the most bizarre types of life form to be found dwelling in the ocean depths. Using a powerful acid, the worms dissolve skeletons in the marine environments and then consume the proteins released in the aggressive chemical reactions that ensure the bone worm has a dinner. Nutrient uptake is facilitated by symbiotic bacteria hosted by the worms that serve a digestive function. Roots containing the bacteria hold onto the bones while plumes extend from the worms to extract oxygen from the water. The creatures measure one to three inches in length and were first discovered in 2002. The first find was made on a gray whale skeleton that had sunk nearly 10,000 feet to the ocean floor. A total of five zombie worm species have been identified, as noted by the World Register of Marine Species. Strangely, females do all of the work harvesting bone while the male lives inside the body of the female. In one case, a single female was host to 111 males. Number 8. Nesting Hornbill Jail among the most fantastical birds in existence, the 54 species of hornbills range across Africa, Asia, and parts of Oceania. The garishly colored creatures have exposed skin, extravagantly colored plumage, and bills that rival those of a pelican in their massive form. In nature, the weirdest looking animals also practice some of the strangest patterns of conduct, particularly when it comes to nesting and reproduction. Most hornbill species, totaling 52 of the 54 occurring worldwide, practice a bizarre nesting routine where the male bird and the female bird work together. The female goes inside a suitable nest cavity, and then they construct a barrier that imprisons her inside. The strange task is accomplished by the pair's collaboration in building a hardened dirt wall across the nest opening that leaves only a narrow space for the male to pass food to the female. The male delivers and applies material once the female is settled inside the nest, while the female helps to fortify the wall, trapping her inside the nest. The fortification that imprisons the female inside the tree eventually protects the female and the young from predators, while also ensuring that no rival males can gain access. Number 7. Medicants Harbingers of formic acid armament, powerful jaws, and other weaponry, both chemical and physical, ants are not seen as the most obvious choice for animal actors in the world of health and wellness. Yet an African species of ant, Megapanera annalis, presents a contrast. This ant pursues a life fraught with extreme danger, hunting a strong and well-defended insect type, namely termites. The hunters go out as opportunistic groups of marauding ants in search of food. The ants send out scouts to seek out hunting opportunities, and based on their findings, an army of raiding ants goes out to attack termites and subdue them as prey. In the raids, soldier termites frequently bite the legs of the ants. And battle victims are not left to die, however. Worker ants, acting as medics, carry their wounded fellow soldiers back home to safety and go one remarkable step further, applying treatment. Despite lost limbs, the army medic-assisted ants make a good recovery. According to the fascinating research study conducted through the Julius Maximilian University of Versailles, in Germany, which was responsible for the discovery, the behavior of the ants is the first of its kind seen outside of humans. 
Number 6. The Vampire Birds of the Galapagos We all know about the eerie behavior of prowling vampire bats, but the next time you're in the Galapagos and see feathers, also take a suspicious look about you for another category of nature's real-life vampires. Yep, that would be blood-drinking birds. Charles Darwin is famous for his discovery of finches, telling the story of evolution through natural selection of the best-suited genotypes and phenotypes in the origin of species. Darwin's finches included one species that might horrify. That species is the vampire finch with a penchant for bloodletting as a means of gaining nutrition. Classified as songbirds, the small finches only measure approximately 4.5 inches in length, with a global range restricted to Wolf Island and Darwin Island. Classified as endangered, the rare birds supplement their diet with blood. Nazca boobies and blue-footed boobies, large seabirds that nest in the Galapagos, are the main victims of the vampire finch blood rates. Equipped with sharp bills as weapons, the tiny birds land on their much larger targets and pick at the bases of the large feather shafts. This action releases a flow of blood which the vampire finches can easily drink. Number 5. Egg-Eating Snake we take it for granted that snakes strike, envenomate, constrict, or simply seize live prey in their jaws. We also rightly fear such serpent behavior in case we are the target of a defensive or predatory attack. Yet, not all snakes make a living by hunting moving prey. A small selection of egg-eating snakes take a marked departure from the snake world norm by foregoing typical animal prey to instead swallow birds' eggs as their mainstay diet. The 16 species of Dasapeltis snake all hail from the woodlands of the African continent. Non-venomous and toothless, they range from 1 foot to 4 feet in length. Tree climbing presents no obstacle for these agile snakes whose technique of pilfering is to steal the eggs of forest and woodland birds. The snakes have flexible jaws, allowing sizable eggs to be swallowed. Instead of using teeth, the snakes swallow the eggs and then use their musculature to press the eggs against hard spinal protrusions, cracking them open and allowing digestion. The Indian egg-eating snake Boiga westermanni is the only other egg-eating snake apart from members of the Dasapeltis genus. Native to India, Bangladesh, and Nepal, this snake also entirely feeds on bird eggs. Number 4. Cape Ground Squirrel – Umbrella Master at first glance, a squirrel might not seem remarkable. At the same time, an umbrella might be immediately associated with humans taking shelter from the rain, not an animal ability. Nature is full of surprises, however, and what humans believe they have invented may have already appeared in the adaptive history of another species. Most unique is the fact the Cape Ground Squirrel of Namibia, Botswana, South Africa, and Lesotho use their enormous and disproportionate bushy tails as a parasol to shield them from the sun. Not only is this adaptation comfortable and potentially life-saving in the hot, harsh, dry grassland and semi-desert conditions in which they occur, the ability to bring shelter with it gives Cape Ground Squirrels a survive and thrive edge over other species of herbivores. In addition to protecting them from the sun's heat, Cape Ground Squirrels have skills in using their tail as a self-defense tool. When mobbing a potential threat as a group, the squirrels may discourage the attacker by using their huge tails as distractions or even shields. In mating displays, males engage in energetic competitions that consist of leaps into the air and controlled rolling tumbles, while seldom engaging in any actual fighting among themselves. Number 3. Red-Breasted Nuthatch Nuthatches are small, unassuming birds found most diversely in Asia and also occur in North America, Europe, and small portions of Northern Africa. An oddly behaving North American species, the red-breasted nuthatch, exhibits a slightly odd survivalist habit. In the nesting season, red-breasted nuthatch nests, which are located in the cavities of trees at a wide variety of elevations, are often found to be encircled by smeared conifer pitch all around the hole that serves as an entrance to the nest. This bizarre effort undertaken by the red-breasted nuthatch is a phenomenon that has captured the attention of curious ornithologists. The ring of pitch apparently serves as a natural glue to trap or deter parasites and predators. If a harmful insect or other small creature were to try and make its way into the nuthatch's nest, it would get stuck. A larger intruder would have a sticky mess on its paws, feet, or wings. Certain old-world nuthatches use bark to disguise their nest or apply mud to make the entrance small and ward off predators. Number 2. QVA's Blind Legless Skink Legs and eyes are among the most valuable assets that many creatures can have, including lizards. But the bizarre nature of evolution means that when a preferred living environment is not exactly normal, normal animal traits that we may take for granted are simply thrown away. The QVA's blind, legless skink is an extremely weird creature. They are lizards that resemble worms or snakes, but have given up their eyes and legs. Why? Well, that's to stay cool and safe underground. 
In order to avoid the surface, instead of hunting vulnerable prey species and traveling below the sand, the blind skink gave up its legs and eyes, as they would be a great hindrance and a handicap underground. Without extending limbs, drag is greatly reduced as the lizard works its way through material such as soil and sand in a burrowing fashion. Tiny black vestigial eyes are visible below the skin, with no external traces of limbs. Limited in its global occurrence to small portions of South Africa on the coast, they range between approximately 6 and 8 inches in length. The QVA's blind legless skink also stands out as a viviparous reptile, a species that gives birth to live young rather than laying eggs. Number 1. Komodo Dragon Venom we know too well that many snake species are venomous, killing with a quick bite that injects poison and complex toxins. In mythology, dragons can spew deadly fire forth from their mouths, but the terrifying 10-foot lizards from Indonesia known as Komodo dragons not only bring down large prey such as deer and even water buffalo, they have also attacked and killed humans wandering into their habitat. Long thought to subdue their prey with a bite loaded with bacteria, these largest of lizards that weigh up to 150 pounds are also a venomous species of reptile. Komodo dragons have venom ducts placed between their teeth and their lower jaw, which release venom into the awful wounds inflicted by the striking dragon's knife-like teeth. The Komodo dragon can smell prey nearly six miles away, while its eyesight gives it a visual range for detecting movement at over 900 feet. Once the dragon has located a suitable hunting opportunity, it will lie in wait, bursting out from a hidden position to deliver gashing wounds with its sharp teeth and its powerful bite. Then the venom dribbles into the wounds is allowed to weaken the prey. Feeding follows as the prey eventually dies. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Also, please do subscribe. We've got brand new videos just like this every day of the week. So hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want. That'll actually tell you when we put out new videos. Also, I've got another channel called Today I Found Out. You will find that linked to below if you want to check that out. And as always, thank you for watching.